Yeah, yeah, it's about time I get to this one. I've been waiting for it. So if you put your name down in that video before, I forgot what video it was already, when I showed my office around, your name will be popping up on this set. Oh, and before I forget to mention, shout out again to firstpersonclothing.com. Go check them out in the description. They're coming out with some new teeth. We like gaming apparel, all that kind of stuff, movies. Check them out, firstpersonclothing.com. Thank you, Jeremy, for the gear, as always. Yeah, I like it. So what you see here is Oxford Blocks, Knights of the Round Table, BM35216. 735 pieces and 13 figures. But this set is actually all about the characters rather than the set itself. But I have to admit, man, this is actually really, really cool. If you haven't seen The Last Supper from Ultra Block, check it out here. This is actually available everywhere. You can buy it anywhere. And of course, it's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. Hey, did I forget to say welcome back to Brick Me Up Scotty? I did, huh? Man, I'm going so fast again. Here, I gotta do it one more time. Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty. There, okay, cool. Look at all those minifigures. We'll come to them in a second, but let's just take a look at this little platform thingy that they're on. It's very small. I kind of like the size, and I like this little wall back here, and I like how the platform is slightly raised. This is very cool indeed. Now this is just like The Last Supper, so it's gonna be like a set piece that you're probably just gonna wanna put somewhere very nice on a shelf, or if you want to play with it, you can totally play with it. Nothing's going to really, really fall apart. And thank you, Oxford, for actually putting a couple of stud pieces down. The plate is actually flushed down. It's got, it's all tiled, but it's nice that you can stand the minifigures without them having to fall off. Don't fall down. Look at that. And they're holding up there really, really good. Let's check out this table. That's not real. well, yeah, it is a round table. But it wasn't really constructed like one. It is a little bit delicate because it's just being held down by the edge. But I like the design of it. I like how they use a the see-through tile there. And you got these gold bars that goes all the way around. And you got the fire pit that is actually pretty cool. I like that bright red flame and little transparent red studs there. Now let's look on the back side of the wall because on the back side of the wall, it's very similar to the Last Supper style. And you got the pillars here. They hold down really well. I'm gonna emphasize this really strong. I love the, the, the multicolored, like that stained glass. Look here. Those are so cool. I like that. It's just a small splash of like primary colored bricks there. You know, with the light shining through it like that. Yeah, let me use my iPhone light here. Wow. Look how pretty that looks. Put some LED lights back there and it'll look super, super flashy. Yeah. That's a plus 10 right there. I don't know what that means, but I love that little touch of the stained glass. And you got the windows here, the typical windows that we know and see. And you got some shields back there. Look at the shields. Yeah, they got sun prints on them. And on the top there, on this awning thing, this awning piece, I think this is the only really loose piece on here, but come on, it's so small. You know, you got a couple flags here. And that's it, super small. Oh, you got two barrels here on the side here. There's nothing inside them. Is there anything inside? Is there no treasure? No treasure! Where is the treasure? Speaking of treasure, come with plenty of accessories. As you can see on deer, deer, you're looking very crowny. Is that a word? Crowns for eyes. Swords and eyebrow. You enjoying that? You know what I could do is take these weapons of mine and shove them up your. All right, all right. I'll change it up later for the next video. You guys want to see it without the minifigs, right? So we're gonna pull off all the minifigs. Man, I gotta remember how to put these guys back on for the, the insert shots, for the close-ups. Okay, so there we go. That's the platform, or the stage, or the round table dining area without the minifigs on there. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like it like that? Plain, empty. And it's cool because I guess what you could technically do is switch some of these studs around and you know, you can place the characters different places. All right, it's time for the minifigures. Okay, on the head of the table there, of course you got King Arthur with the crown on, the badass sword, and a nice silver shield there with the sun on it. So the minifigures, the characters themselves, like on the inside, they're just like solid colors. So you're putting on this paper-ish material thing that can kind of tear if you pull on it too hard and the shield and their, oh, and their cape on the back. The cape, I think, is a little bit stronger than the material. And we're gonna rename him to Scotty, because I am the head of this table, and you are all my knighted men. But look at him, he looks really cool. I like the sword, I like the shield. Next one up with a deer on, hey, look, deer, it's got you on this t-shirt, on printed on shirt, with a nice helmet there and a deer cape on the background. Well, that's actually pretty cool. I might have to take that off and like use that as a minifigure for my own self. You got a nice sword and a helmet here. So this is Eraser Mike Labs. There you are. Yeah, going into battle. 
Then you got this guy with a green cape on with a lion logo on him. Long flowing brown hair. Looks like he's out of Lord of the Rings. And this is Reznov. There you go, Reznov. To play the Lord of the Rings song here. Dun, 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 Looks pretty cool. Okay, you got this guy in blue. I like his crest design on the capes. Like a lot of, looks like a video game thing going on there, like Galaga or something. 134 Tessier. Did I say that right? 134 Tessier. There you go. That's you. We got this guy with black flowing hair with a cape with red and white stripes. And this one is Keaton. There you go, Keaton. Yeah, nice and red. So we got this guy with the red line on the, is that the line, right? Griffith, Griffin, Griffin, what character is that? I forget, on the white cape with his helmet on and a bigger sword. And he's like, I am ready to go to war. And I am Brick Life Crisis, Brick Life Crisis, there you go. Cool to see you on there. Yellow cape, I don't know, that design looks weird, man. That looks kind of funky, but yellow, got a nice helmet there and a sword, and that is, Cactus Cooler, yeah, cool. They're all, I think the bearded guys all kind of look the same, yeah, a yeah, little bit. The beards are slightly different, but there you go. Okay, let's get some dedicated guys out there that have been with me forever, because you guys deserve to be here on this table as well. This one with the blue jacket on here with the yellow two-headed bird looking thing on his back and his crest. I like the helmet, the helmet's actually pretty cool. He's got a gray beard, older fella. Joe for us. Did I say your last name right? Joe, thanks for hanging in there with me. There you are, all ready for battle. Then we got this guy with a bunch of arrows with three dots pointing down. A nice smirk, he's jolly. And Nick Trucker, again, I know you are a minifigure, but here you are at the table to sit down with us. Cool. And then we got this guy. It looks like Swedish, Sweden's flag. Black flowing hair. And it looks like I had problems getting his paper thing on. It looks kind of thick on him. But anyway, it looks cool. Yeah. So this is Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. He's ready to go out there and build more sets. Go, go, go. Chop, chop, chop. Now we got this guy in red with a bunch of yellow crowns behind him. Three crowns and the same symbol on the front. Oh, he's kind of got a dirtier face look on there. He's got a little goatee going on, or is that just a printing problem? But it looks okay. He's ready to go to war. And this one is Puppet Guy. There you go, Puppet Guy. You got this guy with a star, blue, like blue and gold star crest with the red and white stripes. I like how they're keeping things varied up here, you know, they're not all exactly the same, which is good. And he's got like, he needs a shave, man. Zerga, there you go. And that is you. Down to the last one. We've got a guy with a white beard. This is the oldie guy. Got two keys on the back of his cape. Pretty cool. I like it. I like the helmet again. This one is Nano Nils. Now it's time to put them back on to the table. Okay, so I know I love, usually I love sets more than the minifigures. Minifigures are kind of like, not my favorite, but what's cool about the set is, it is more about the minifigures. And I actually do like them here. Each one is totally unique from one another. They didn't repeat it. And speaking of the accessories, my goodness, they come with so many accessories. First of all, sorry dear, I'm gonna pluck your eyebrows. You even get these two guys. More massive swords. So you can totally switch out your weapons with these ones if you want to go even bigger and better. What else we got here? Sorry, I'm taking your eyes off. You got some more crowns, so you can crown the next person. Look at that, these are all the weapons that you get. Slide this to the side here, put you guys there. Whoa, you got a little mace, you got a sword, an extra sword. Look at the battle axe, yeah, you got a battle axe in there. Get crazy up on that table. Oh, this is all the weapons I use on the table. Look at that, yeah, more. And there's a couple of more stickers. Oh, there's only one, there's only one more. Sun sticker in case you screw up, like I always do. Got lots of little pieces here. You got even more shields, one more shield there. You got another gray shield here. These are all the spare parts that come with it. Very nice, I like it. I like it indeed, very cool. So this is the Knights of the Round Table from Oxford Block. Go get yours today. Until next time, you guys, brick me out, Chung. You guys seem so crammed there. Maybe I crammed them too tight there. Oh, look at that. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, hey, hey. I need, I need this cape, man. So, look, I'll give you 10 bucks if you let me borrow this cape. What are you going to do with my cape? Just, just trust me, man. I gotta go visit the set. 
Come on, just let me, let me, just, I, I, I promise you, I'll give it back to you later, okay? Fine, please be gentle and don't destroy it. Come on, dear. Let's go inside and invade these guys. She got my cape, yo. Well, hello, boys. It's me, Scotty the minifigure. Sorry, King Arthur. It's my turn to come and check out this place. Dear and I have come to invade it. Yeah, move out the way. Move. Get out the way. Get out the way. We're coming in. Hey, hey, hey. I look pretty good with this table. Dear, how are you doing over there? Listen up, people. I'm the House of Baratheon. Get the hell off the ship right now. Bend the knee. Good job, dear. We got them all out of here. This is actually a pretty cool location. I like this. Me too. Well, now that everybody's gone, what are we going to do? This is how we do it. We got an electric guitar now by the campfire. Makes absolute no sense. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. I have a better idea. Let's make some hot dogs. Ah, uh, we have a sausage on the barbie. What a beautiful campfire. The sausage tastes so good. We just need some s'mores. All right, you guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more. So stay tuned, and thank you for joining us. Until next time, bye-bye now.